Hi, I'm Tiffany Hayes of Needle in a Haystack Designs, and I want to show you how I do needle turn applique. So this quilt behind me is done with needle turn applique, and I did all these little pieces. And today I just want to give you a quick demo on an orange peel shape. It's one easy shape, and I just want to show you how I get from beginning to end of appliquing one shape on top of a background fabric. Okay, I'm ready to show you how I proceed with needle turn applique. The quilt that I showed you previous had lots of little pieces. I would probably use a light box and trace my fabric, trace those images right onto my fabric, but because the quilt I'm working on at this point has orange peel shapes, and this is an orange peel shape, I have cut it out of template plastic because I'm going to use this shape over and over again, and I'm going to trace it trace around it with a white sew line pencil. There are lots of marking tools out there. You can do some research and find the kind that works for you. Sometimes you need white, sometimes you need black uh, or other colors and this will work for me today. So there's my shape that is traced and now I will go ahead and cut it, cut around it with uh, about a quarter inch seam allowance. And then once I have done that, which I've already done for you, now I will place this orange peel shape on top of my background fabric and I'm going to need to adhere that. The way I do it is with a little baste-it glue and I just use a few dots on either end of my shape. So I did the first end and now let's get a couple here. As you can see my nails are a little wild. Uh, that's my thing. I like to get my nails done by an artist who paints these shapes right on my nails. And I know they're a little crazy, but that's just what I have to deal with right now. So, the next thing I need to do is thread a needle with whatever thread I'm choosing. I'm going to choose a DMC thread this time. Sometimes I use a silk thread. Uh, you get a color that matches your applique piece. I like to use a needle threader. I just think it's faster and easier to get that needle filled with thread for me. I'm going to trim that off. Use about 18 inches worth of thread at a time. You don't want to get too much. It'll just knot up and make a mess. I'm going to make a little knot and I'm going to hold my thread behind my needle and wrap it around about four or five times and pull the needle through with the thread trailing behind it and when it gets to the very end it will make a knot. That's how I knot. Uh, I'm going to start near the point here because I want to get to the point rather quickly so I can show you how to do a point. And if you're watching, you can see I just turned the fabric under from my applique piece and that's why this is called needle turn applique. I brought up the thread from behind, leaving the needle or the knot on the back side. I went in right behind where I came up in the background fabric and came up through the fold of my applique piece. And then I continue on in the background fabric, right behind where I came up, and then up through all the layers, including the fold. And I get pretty close to the fold of my applique piece. That's how you kind of keep your thread hidden. Your thread needs to match your applique piece, and you need to take little stitches right near the edge. Now I'm almost to the point of this orange peel, and when I get to the point, I'm going to come up through where it's drawn, the drawn point is, and I'm going to take an extra stitch through the back, just in the background fabric, and then up through everything again, right at the point. And that's an anchor stitch. I'm going to anchor that down. And now I'm going to take my scissors, and I don't know how well you'll be able to see this. I'm going to trim away the fold that's back behind there. There's a little excess piece that I want to get rid of. That little piece is going to create bulk in my point and I know it seems like a little bit but when I get it out of the way my point will be a little sharper. Now again I've come back to my needle and I need to tuck under that point. Oh, It's going to give me some grief but I will win. I'm going to get that tucked under and now I'm going to go in the background fabric right at the point, come up through the fold, give it a little tug but not too much. You don't want it to ripple. 
You just want it on there tight. And then I continue on with, the, with my stitches. I continue to go in the background fabric and up through the fold. And I'm going to need to turn with my needle a little more before I get too much further. And that's how I do needle turn applique. So I want you to see the back. My stitches aren't super tiny, but they're not really huge, about an eighth inch apart. Um, I get more consistent when I'm sitting in my in my favorite spot of the couch and working along at my own pace. In the video it's hard to keep things quite as perfect for you, but I think you'll get the idea. And that's my quick and easy way to do needle turn applique.